Hello again and welcome back to my channel. One of the most popular workshops at Curio is Mixed Media Canvases. So I thought it was about time that I did a video. going to start off with a plain 8x8 deep edged canvas. At the bottom of the canvas I've put some push pins just to lift it off the work surface because I'm going to be painting the sides as well. To start with I'm going to use some Mod Podge and I'm just going to spread a bit in the middle so that I can apply some for latex lace. If you haven't already seen the video, I'll put a link to the tutorial at the top. I'm giving the faux lace another coat of Mod Podge just to make sure that it stays in place. Next I'm taking a stencil and some homemade texture paste and I'm just roughly pushing the paste with a palette knife through the stencil. This will give some extra texture. I'm also applying it to the edges to take the design all the way around. I'm using a heat gun just to dry the texture paste off a bit. Next I'm using hot glue to glue a laser cut wooden frame to the canvas. And I'm adding extra glue around the edge and applying some decorative stones just for effect. Again, all this makes extra texture. Texture is terribly important when it comes to mixed media. With Mod Podge I'm applying some creepy cloth on the bottom corner. I've taken a cheap brush and I'm just adding a little plaster cast. Now making sure that all the Mod Podge is dry before I go on to the next stage. I'm using black gesso from Pebio, I find this is quite a good gesso. It's got excellent coverage, highly recommend it. And I'm making sure that I'm painting all the sides and getting in every nook and cranny. And I'm covering the whole canvas with gesso, apart from a little spot in the centre of the frame. Because I'm going to be hot glue into that. Hot glue won't stick to anything that's damp, so before you do anything you need to make sure that the gesso is really really dry. I'm just spritzing the brush bristles with a little water. This will help the gesso get right into the bristles. I've also found a printed circuit board, I think this came out of the base station of a cordless phone and I'm painting that with gesso as well. I decided to add a little bit more interest by wrapping wire around the brush. And I'm just using hot glue to stick down the printed circuit board inside the frame on the canvas. And I'm going to do the same with the brush. I've got a couple of plastic cogs, these were taken from the inside of a glue runner and I'm just going to use hot glue again to adhere them to the canvas. I'm also adhering a selection of bottle tops, laser cut embellishments and buttons.
also adding a resin cast from one of the Iron Orchid design moulds and bits of old jewellery. I'm using a heat gun to get rid of any straggly bits from the hot glue. Next it's back with the black gesso and I'm just going over and covering any pieces that aren't painted and then touching up any places that I've missed before. It's really important to look at the canvas from every angle to make sure that you haven't missed a bit. I'm just spritzing a little bit of water on to make sure that the gesso can get into the parts that I can't actually reach. Here I'm adding a few blobs of hot glue just to add a bit more texture and interest. And again, I'm getting rid of any stringy bits with the heat gun. So now I'm going back with the black gesso and just touching up any additional elements I've added and drying it off with the heat tool. This is a mixture of gold and brown paint. I've mixed it myself. And I'm using a dry brushing technique to apply it. Taking a large brush, just added a little bit of the paint and dabbed most of it off onto my paper. And using the lightest of strokes, just dust along the sides of the canvas. You can add more paint, but you can't take it away. So a light touch is essential for this. And just gradually work your way across the canvas. Dry brushing can take a bit of practice, but the beauty of this mixed media technique is if you don't like it, you can just go over the whole lot with black gesso and start again. I haven't sped this part up because I thought you might like to see the whole process. You can see that the dry brushing really picks out all the details and every texture on the canvas. Finally, I'm using some metallic wax patina in copper and gold to add some highlights and give an extra dimension. This is simply applied with the tip of your finger using a very, very light touch. Again, with this technique, less is more. You can always add more, but you can't really take it away. I'm starting with the copper as that's a deeper tone. I 
and I'm applying it only to selected places. Next I'm coming in with the gold wax, just to give it a little bit more of a highlight. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of any new videos. Thank you for watching.